Hi, I'm George Pearson, and I'll be showing you how to make a YouTube banner in Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit share and share with your friends. Both of those really help out my channel a lot. If you don't want to miss out on any videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe as well. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notifications of my new videos. I do a bunch of videos every single week, a lot of those on Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's get to it. Setting up a YouTube banner in Photoshop Elements is actually very straightforward and very easy. And I'll be basing this video here on the official template from YouTube on doing this. Now you can download the file I'm working with here, including all of my additional stuff. And I have a link for that in the description. If you want to download the official YouTube template, then just go into your studio and go up to the help section and do a search for channel artwork template or channel art template and you'll find a link for the download right there. But that's also included here on this file. Okay, the main thing to understand about this is that there are different areas that you need to care about or worry about. I'm just gonna hide all of this stuff in here. There we go. It's all hidden. And let's hide that text. And then I'll bring this up. This is what the basic template looks like. Let's just make this as large as possible here. Fit screen, there we go. And you can see there's a whole lot of different areas in here. Text and logo safe area, this dark area here, this is called the text and logo safe area because this will show up on any device that can watch YouTube. This will always be shown. So if your text is in here, you'll be just fine. If your text goes outside, then it may not show on some devices. For instance, this is the mobile device area. So if your text goes outside of this, then the text may be cut off if your website is being viewed on a mobile device. This also is the minimum for computer screens as well, for you know pretty small computer screens. Tablets are a little bit wider, as you can see here, over here, and over to here, that's your tablet. And then the standard computer screen, desktop computer screen, and your laptops, things like that, it's all the way out here to the side, but it's just this middle section in here, right in there. The stuff outside here at the top and the bottom, this is for the TV. If you're watching YouTube on a TV, you'll be seeing all of this stuff out here. So you need to pay attention to all of these. I normally just concern myself with what's inside right here. Almost everybody who watches my videos, and I'm able to track this by looking at the analytics in my YouTube studio, they're watching my channel on a desktop computer or a laptop computer. So they're seeing this area here. So that's what I care about. I still keep my text inside of the text area, but I really care about this stuff out here. I don't think I have hardly anybody who watches my channel on TV, so I don't care about what's up here and what's down there, but I still have content in there. You just have to have that. Okay, let's see how this whole thing works. I'm going to bring up a just a basic image here basic image like that, just kind of a background thing. I found this online. And if I want to see what, how this will look on a computer, I want to see just this middle section here. Let me show you how that's done. It's pretty easy to do. I'll hide that again. And again, this is your basic template. What this has is this, where it says your art here. I'm leaving that in as a background. I'm putting my art above that background layer. And at the top is a folder. Inside of this folder are your different areas. This is the text up here you see on the screen, and these are the different areas in here. The desktop right here, this line, this is the one that goes clear out like that. Now to see how this works, just click on that desktop line right here, grab the magic wand, click any place in there, and that will then select that middle section. That's the clear section in there. That's now selected. Let's go ahead and close this and hide that. I'll bring back up this image here. So there's my image. Let's make sure you're on the right layer. And we have that selection. So all you have to do now is just to hit up here. This is your add layer mask button. And that gives you a layer mask hiding the rest of that image. So this is the part that you actually can see on a standard computer when you're looking at YouTube at the top of your YouTube channel. That's what's going to be visible in there. Let's bring the template back up again here. There's the template, and I'll hide this layer. I'm just gonna pull in some guidelines here, left and right hand side. 
I'll pull in a guideline here to the tablet line, and there's one here. I already had those set up. And I'll pull one over here. There we go. Okay, let's hide that again. I'll bring back up this one layer. So as you can see now, the area inside of these, right in this area right in here, that's where you want to keep your text. That's also where you want to keep anything that's really important in your image. The stuff outside of here is part of your image, but you don't want to have any important content out there. So keep your important content inside this area here. And then you'll be just fine. For instance, I have a bit of text right there. So you see that my text here fits inside of this area. Now it's not really exciting text. I didn't do a whole lot of time on this. I just kind of typed that in real fast. But just to give you the idea, that's where your text needs to be is inside of those two lines. Let me just change to a different picture here. Here's one just taking a screenshot from one of my Minecraft videos. Kind of a standard thing in here. So you notice that my character is right there in the middle. My text is inside here. The interesting stuff is happening inside of this area. The stuff outside still works with the picture, but it's not really critical information. Two more things to pay attention to and watch for is that sometimes your picture is going to be showing over here. It depends on which one of your channel pages somebody's looking at. It may be showing over here or it may be showing right down here on your channel page. One of those two spots. But occasionally it is showing right over here. So again, that picture could hide some content over here. And that's another reason why you want to keep your important content in the middle section. Also, if you have links to websites and so forth, those are over here on the bottom right hand corner, right down in that area. And once again, those can come in and hide content down here. So you don't want to have anything important right down in that area. If you stay in the middle, you should be just fine with that. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to work with. Now, because we are considering this as potentially also being seen on TV, if somebody's watching YouTube on TV, again, my channel doesn't really lend itself to that. Other channels do. If yours is more of an entertainment channel, then TV is definitely a big part of your viewing audience, and you want to have the area above and below taken care of as well. Now, there's some ways on doing that. Let me just go up here. I'm going to hide this layer mask. Right-click on the layer mask and do Disable Layer Mask. We can now see the whole thing like that in there. So the important part of my image is inside my safe area, but the image stretches out and fills the whole screen just in case somebody is watching this on a TV. Now you may want to get a little bit fancier than this, and you can do that pretty easily. I'm just going to bring this layer mask back up again. Right click and let's enable the layer mask. There we go. And let's just hide this one and come down here. On this layer, I copied that same picture, made a duplicate of that layer, put it down here, and then I just converted that layer over into a grayscale tone. So I now have color in the middle and black and white on the outsides, which makes for an interesting looking picture. It's a standard trick, but it's pretty interesting looking and can make the screen more interesting for anybody who's watching on a TV set. Now you may want to have lines in here above and below this just to help separate that section out for a TV screen. If you do, I'd recommend keeping your lines outside of your main area in here if you don't want to have those lines showing up on a computer screen. Normally I think you wouldn't want to have that. So if you have lines in here, make sure they're just above and just below that. Let's just put in a couple of quick lines so you can see what I'm talking about. You can do this by going back up to this layer here. We have our layer mask on there and I'll apply a layer style to this. So go up here to layer, come down to layer style, style settings, and stroke right here. There it is. And make sure it's set it outside. And then if I add in lines, the lines go in outside of that middle image and don't go into the image. So we wouldn't see the lines if you're viewing this on a desktop computer, but you would see the lines if you were looking at this on a TV screen. So they're only showing on a TV screen because they're just in that TV area. And that adds a nice little additional separation touch in there making for again for a very interesting look on your TV set. If TV is your main audience, you can put text outside of this middle section in here. Let's just make a copy of this. I'll right click here, duplicate layer, choose OK, and I'll just drag that down here. And I'll do it again. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, and then I'll drag that up here. So if you're working with a TV audience, the text up here and the text down below here will show on the TV it won't show on anything else. 
So as long as you take that in, into consideration, you can put additional text up here and down there. Again, I would only do this if your main audience was watching on TVs. And again, you can check that by going to the YouTube studio and taking a look at your analytics to see where your audience is coming from. So you do have that option as well. Just keep in mind, if you have text above or below, it won't be showing on your computer, it won't be showing on a tablet, and it won't be showing on mobile. If you stay inside this area here, it will show everywhere. Now, one other way of making an interesting looking background, this one, of course, I'm using color in the middle with a layer mask to hide that outside section and then a black and white version of the same picture down below. You could also put in a different image in here. I'm just going to right click on this and let's just disable that layer mask. So you could do a different picture in behind if you want to. Again, the stuff outside here is only going to be showing on TV. It's not going to be showing any place else. If we're looking at this on a computer screen, then what you would be seeing would be just that and you wouldn't be seeing those black lines either. Let me just disable that. Hide the stroke. There you go. So that's what you would be seeing on a regular computer monitor. If you want to see what you're seeing if you're looking at this at mobile, we can do that easily enough. Just come in here and we'll add into our layer mask on the right hand side. Click over here layer mask. I'm just going to grab a standard rectangular marquee right down here. Let's just pull this in right like that. And I'll fill that with black. There's our black. We'll just fill that. Same thing on the left hand side here. Select that, fill it with black. I'm just adding in black onto the layer mask for this. But that's all you would be seeing if you're looking at this on a mobile device or on a small computer screen. You know, so, so keep that in mind that you may not be seeing the whole thing. You'll be seeing different parts depending upon how your audience is watching your videos. So make sure you check out your YouTube Studio Analytics and look at your audience settings and see how they're watching your channel and then make your main channel banner match your main audience. Again, mine is working with that full size, so that's the one that I go for. Okay, there you go, just a few different thoughts and ideas on how to set up a YouTube banner. It's pretty straightforward as you can see, but you do want to have this template in here to work with and then you want to have your guidelines and so forth. I'm going to right click here and delete that layer mask and let's just open up this folder right here. So if you want to see where your area is for your computer, just go to that layer, grab the magic wand, click in the middle here someplace that makes a selection of that middle area. Let's hide that group, come down to the image layer right here and then click on your add layer mask and there you go, that hides that area. Then just hide that folder up there and that's what you would be seeing on a standard computer screen. The last thing you have to do, of course, is just to save this out. And what you want to do is go up to Save, File, Save. You can just save for a web if you want to, that's easy. And then in here, come up and set this at JPEG and set this at Maximum. Those are your settings that you want. And then just click on Save. You can then upload that up onto YouTube. And to finish this off, I would probably do something like that. And then I'll bring our lines back up again here. Bring our stroke back on. There we go, choose OK. I did something along those lines if I was going to use this for my own channel, just so I had some information in here for the TV, just in case. Even though nobody watches my channel on TV, I'd still go ahead and take that into account, again, just in case. Of course, you can use any typeface you want. Simply just grab your text tool adjust your text, anything is available, all that is just fine as long as you stay inside of that area. Okay, there you go. Now if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to click on share, don't forget to click on subscribe as well, and also don't forget to check out my channel. I have loads and loads, hundreds of videos there on my channel. Okay, and I'll see you next time.